Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and um, Twitter, all of these have a business model where uh, they basically don't let anyone else build apps on top of their data. They make it so that you have to use the apps that they created. And the reason for that is if they allowed anyone else to build an app on top of their data, then they wouldn't be able to show ads to those people. They don't control that real estate. And so they, that hurts their bottom line to have other people building on the content. Um, and so what ends up happening is you have lock-in. Uh, so we all have to use these kind of like handful of apps from these three companies. Uh, and we don't really get competition and innovation in, in the apps. It's kind of like, oh, did Instagram, if Instagram decides to hide the like, you know, number, it's, everyone goes crazy, even though that's so basic. And if, if you allowed anyone to build, then people could build different interfaces that don't show the number of likes or something like that. Easily, like you just have that. It'd be like, why do we even, you know, why is this what this one company decides what we all have to deal with? What I really love about the DSO side is just the portability, right? Where if I'm on Facebook right now and I've spent the last, whatever, eight years building my group of friends and my followers, et cetera, and then Facebook screws me over by changing the algorithm, banning me, et cetera, like I'm just kind of out of luck, right? But with what you're building, right? It's like, I'm like, oh, you're mad at me, Facebook? Well, I couldn't care any less because I'm just going to switch to whatever new app is out there or whatever dozens of apps or whatever. If I don't like the algorithm, right? I think they're too Republican or too Democrat. I can just switch to someone who displays it differently. So I think that, I mean, that's my favorite part, obviously. And that's exactly the benefit of putting all the content on the blockchain. When you have a blockchain and all the content is on the blockchain, essentially all you need is for one app to be successful, for one app to generate a lot of profiles with a lot of posts, uh, it kind of gets some traction. And then again, all of that's usable by all the other apps. Uh, and that really only happens when we're all writing to the same database. And so it creates this kind of like, it's like anti-fragile. Like if there's one app that wins, all the other apps win.